Well, hello everyone, and welcome back for another LEGO Batman 3 Beyond Gotham news. And today, the New York Comic Con panel that was held uh, revealed a nice boatload of characters. So I wanted to show them because some of them were uh, not my favorite reveals. There's there's a few that I got excited about, but a lot of them kind of made me upset. Uh, yeah, let's get into it. So the first one is Man Bat. Now, we've seen him before. He's nothing new, uh, just going, we had him in a Lego set, so they went ahead and revealed him, so they've been revealing a few. Uh, another stuff, I don't really reveal characters, but I thought it'd be cool to do it, because Saturday video, so. Um, yeah, so that's just him. So the next one is Condiment King. Yes, Batman has some pretty ridiculous villains, and Condiment King is probably number one. Uh, still, he's very cool. Uh, I love him. He looks cool. If you guys don't know what he's from, he's from Batman the Animated Series that aired in the 90s. And so um, that's where he's from, and I don't believe he's been in anything else, but he's very cool and very funny. Um, so the next one is the Green Lutheran. Now this is Daffy Duck from um, from the you know Looney Tunes, and he had there's like this uh, I think it was Duck Dodgers or whatever cartoon series he had, and he actually had like a Green Lantern because Warner Brothers um, you know does this sort of does the and Warner Brothers Entertainment owns DC in that kind of area, so uh, they had Daffy Duck, which is also with Warner Brothers you know, become Green Lantern. It's like Green Lutheran, so that's pretty hilarious. So, um, the next one is the Solar Suit Superman. It pretty much just looks like Superman, but in a black costume. Uh, don't really know much about him, so um, all I have is to show you him. And the next one is the Darkest Night Batman. So you guys are probably like, what? He's a Green Lantern? Yeah, there's actually this story arc called um, The Blackest Night and then Brightest Day or something like that. There's a few stories uh, comics and very cool. I haven't read them yet, but I know I, I know pretty much a lot about them. It's where people become lanterns. We have like Flash becoming a blue lantern. We have Lex Luthor becoming an orange lantern. We have the white lanterns that brings back a lot of DC characters from the dead. It's a whole other thing. I won't talk much about it, but pretty much we have Batman as a green lantern, which is pretty kick ass. Uh, I'll say that. <laughs> and then so the next one is went over that one. Okay, the next one is one that I'm not really excited for at all. I was like, what the heck? Actually, it says something else, but I'm going to keep this PG. But it's a Conan O'Brien minifigure. What? There's like... there. I can think of so many other people that they could have and reveal. They haven't revealed like Black Canary or Huntress or uh, anyone. Really? Well, they revealed a lot. Anyways, but... Ah, Conan O'Brien, uh, oh, I really hope they make that up to me. Whatever. And then also something else that's really cool that they revealed, they revealed the fifth DLC, and um, I'm including, we have the Batman 75th, the Man of Steel, the Dark Knight Trilogy, the Future, and now we have the Arrow Pack. Now this is just a reveal, we don't have anything besides the Arrow minifigure, so uh, very cool because the guy that plays Arrow in the TV show, he was on the panel, Steven, and uh, he was really excited about this game, so they made it a part, a big part of it. Because whenever you have such inf influential, oh, I can't even speak. Whenever you have people like that um, that are known in the TV, and you bring them, they take advantage of that. So, yeah, that is it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, so make sure to like, comment, subscribe for more Lego Batman stuff, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye.